Hang on, I gotta get this meat in the freezer. Welcome to Anthony's Outdoors, and in this episode, we're gonna show you how to field quarter a deer so you don't have to drag it all the way out, of, out into the field to gut it. Now, this is a disclaimer for some of my viewers. Some of the images you're about to see may be gruesome, bloody, and uh, offensive. So you are gonna see skinning, deboning, blood, and an animal that is expired laying on the ground. So if that's not for you, no problem. You don't have to watch this video any further, but I just want to get it out there so that this video doesn't get reported. So without further ado, let's jump back into the woods to uh, see how we took care of Trevor's deer. So we are, uh, we got this doe that Trevor shot successfully this morning in the middle of the swamp. It's a little bit of a drag as you can tell to pull this thing out of here. So we're going to do what they call field quartering. You take your largest pieces of meat off the animal and bring it out by hand. A lot less effort and you do not have to open the gut pouch. So it's a lot less of a mess. So first thing I start to do, work on one side, then flip over the other. Just grab anywhere and get yourself an incision under the skin. It should be noted that taking the skin off of a deer is much easier while it's still warm. So, just start there. And the goal here is to get under the shoulder. So, lifting this up, skin comes off super easy when you're peeling it back like that. So, once you got the skin off the shoulder, lift the shoulder up and essentially just start cutting down towards the actual chest cavity. The shoulder has no bones attached to the rest of the deer. So as you just cut through that, continue cutting. Basically cutting up through the armpit all the way to the ribs and it comes right off. The more, the more skin you remove, the easier it is. At a certain point, it will come right off. There you have. And there you go. Front shoulder, fuel quartered off a deer. And that took less than five minutes. So if you can tell here, your back strap is basically this white ribbon that runs under this fat cap all the way down back to the hips. Take your time here. If you start cutting into meat, slow down and back out. So, at a certain point back here, you're going to feel the hip bone. That's where the back strap ends, right back here. Runs right along the spine all the way up. So, I always like to start from the top. Get this out of the way. Now, now look here. You'll actually see he just cut through a piece of sinew. Grab that, that, that flappy, no, no, that, yeah. So if you can see that, you have to get that out of the way, other, and it'll make getting that back strap out really, really easy. So, <clears throat> this part, exactly the same as when you're butchering it, when after you have the whole deer out. I just start rib cage here, or spine. Keep the knife along the ribs, cut down, not up. Basically make an incision all the way back until you hit that hip bone. You get to the hip bone area, I'll stop, go the other way. The back strap more or less goes almost all the way up to the middle of the neck. So, just keep going. Spine ends, back strap ends a little bit further up. So I would just grab that, cut directly across. And now, if you've ever seen a T-bone steak, that's how the spine looks. So I just cut the inside. Sounds like the neighbors just took a deer. Now we gotta cut the side of it, which is right here. Feel for the ribs, make a small incision, cut all the way down, and again, up against the, up against the spine, not into the meat, that way you don't lose any meat. And they're all actually warm enough where you can almost Peel it away by your hand, you don't even need yep. the knife. So, goal here, take your time. You want to lose as little meat as possible. And you can see as he's cutting, there is a white 
it's almost like a nerve bundle that's attached where the spine meets the rib cage and cutting that it basically completely frees the meat from the the carcass when you get towards the back it starts to go a little bit down towards the gut, gut, gut pouch so make sure you're still cutting along that bone getting the excess fat out of the way makes it easier Once you get to that hip bone, I just take my knife, stick it under the hip bone, basically cut down to the spine and up. And eventually, you will just cut your way. Again, cut against the bone, not against the meat. And you have back strap. Nice. Did a little bit of a bad job here, but you can see if you do it correctly, you just have Bone. Bones. Hide off the ham, and when you spread it back, its butt cheek is basically where I start cutting. So follow the meat all the way down. You will eventually hit a bone down here. Go ahead and take your knife, hold it up against that bone, and cut against the bone. Don't cut into the ham, cut into the, the, the body cavity. Down here, there we go, you can see that bone. Follow the bone all the way in. Always following that bone. Inside here, we're eventually gonna get to the hip bone, or the hip socket, I should say. Yep. And there it is. And if you stick no, your knife in this this part here don't be afraid you can get kind of uh western on it you can get aggressive with the with this joint um and you can really just pop it out yeah. it's it's we separated the hip bone from the socket right there so you... as you can see there's the ball on the right hand side and the socket on the left and that you just put your knife in there and you can just pop that out and then on the back side is where he'll have to be a little bit more careful about the uh the ham so when I cut this open, I go from the back, the other side, Matt, if you can flip over. That same bone that you stopped your back strap at, that's where the other side of the ham is. So I find that bone, make an incision on the opposite side of it. Again, cutting down towards the bone the entire time. And if you do it correctly, there's minimal meat. And there you have it. And that is how you take the hide off and one side quarter. Now that we have one side of the ear completely taken off, um, we'll flip her over on the back side, do the exact same thing. Once both back straps are out and both front and hind quarters are out, we'll pull the tenderloins out of the gut pouch which you can do without even opening anything besides a slight incision on the back. I'll show you that shortly. Right, so now that we've taken both quarters off and the back straps, there is tenderloins on the inside of the gut pouch. So what I like to do, basically stand your up so you get a little bit more working space like this. And you're gonna take, right below the ribs, there's a little bit of a membrane right there. Make an incision into the actual gut pouch. And if you look, you expose this piece of meat right here. That is your tenderloin, and it runs right to the back of the ribs and down a little bit past the pelvis in here. What I like to do at this point, make sure you don't cut into it, but keep cutting back, and eventually you're going to find the end. Kind of, this just takes practice. Find that tenderloin. Cut it open, so you remove it from the actual body, and then after that, it's just a matter of almost even without a knife, peeling it out by hand like that. Remember, don't cut too deep because there's two of them. 
So you don't want to dig into the back one. Now, keep pulling until basically it stops. Stick your knife in there, cut. You can see how that ends back there. Basically just gonna cut it straight out. And there is tenderloin without having to take the guts out of it. Perfect. And, and then the you'll flip her over and do the same thing on the other side. And that is how you feel quarter a deer when you are a couple hundred yards in the swamp. So if you like what you saw in this episode, hit that like button, comment down below if you guys like to feel a quarter or if you do the gut method out in the field and then butcher later. Let me know down in the comments. Hit that like button and please consider subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching.